This is a driver that dominated supercars in Australia. He won 56 times in a very short period of time. He came to America, got to the front a lot quicker than most people expected, was on pace on ovals from the very beginning, and that's been the only thing he hasn't conquered here. Next, I'm sure he's going to say, is winning a championship. So this one is special, and Scott McLaughlin is going to enjoy it. <laughs> How did you get it done? Uh, kind of a beer tonight, unfortunately. But the XBL Chevy is unreal. Uh, what got it done tonight was the pit stops, the team. Um, got me out in front of her there, and we should have showed our pace. And that's a, that's a big deal today, man. I've been working on that for a couple of years. You know, it's, uh, it takes a lot of hard work. And I got pipped to the post a couple of years ago, and it stung. So uh, I'm, really st I'm really stoked for all this whole team, proud of the whole team at Penske. And, uh, yeah, we've got another race tomorrow. We start from pole, so let's go again. When you break through and do something you haven't done before, is there the possibility that opens the floodgates? What's possible for you now? I just, I never was going to call myself an IndyCar driver until I won on an oval, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to call myself an IndyCar driver now, <laughs> if you don't mind. But uh, so I don't know. Hopefully the floodgates open. We, we bloody need them too because we're a fair way behind in the championship, but we'll see how we go. Well, you've made up a lot of ground now. You're back to fifth in the championship. Scott McLaughlin has won on an oval in IndyCar. Uh, let's find uh, Pato Award, who finishes in the second spot. He's cut the championship lead down to 37. It seemed like you were closing in the end, on the end there on Scott. Did you have anything for him if you could have gotten to him? My, my car had more. Uh, I was super, super happy with it. And all race, you just you can't freaking do anything with uh, with uh, with it, no two lanes. Like it's just a one lane racetrack. And uh, if you try anything, you're probably going to end up in a wall. So uh, not worth to risk it. So we just we were just making our moves in the pits. The guys did a phenomenal job, uh, awesome pit stops, and uh, and I just I kept it clean on the track. Really, I, these guys gave me the opportunity to be on the podium today. So uh, super stoked, and um, yeah, Aaron McLaren, let's go. You had the win last week. Obviously, a really strong run today. Another race tomorrow yet, but do you feel like you guys have kind of turned the corner and are starting to hit your stride here at the end of the year? I have the car. I have the team to do it. I just don't know if we have the track position tomorrow to. To really, you know, we, we need that, that that little door to open to, to, to get in front of everybody uh, or just, you know, have an opportunity in a restart or something. And then that's where that's where we can get it done. But uh, the car is more than capable. And, you know, I have, I have some of the best guys in the biz. So I'm pumped for tomorrow. I would say well done in a track, in a race when people said there's not going to be a lot of passing. You went from 22nd to third. How did you do that? Well, I, I think it's mostly the team, you know, I mean, we had a great start that made a big difference. And then it was, I think 80% of it was my team just, you know, put me up front. It was, the car was great. I mean, it was really great. You just can't start back where we started. You know, it's just kills you. Um, tomorrow's going to be the same situation. We're not going to be quite as far, which is good. But I think tonight, you know, we just, we ran out of time and we ran out of racetrack. You know, unfortunately, we just, we didn't have probably the real estate we needed like we've had in the past. I, I think if you if we do, then our car is lights out. But um, this was a great night still. Scott did a great job. Congrats on his first oval win. And uh, yeah, I'm disappointed for us. You know, obviously we want to come here and win, but we secured a third. It's a good night. It's a great team day. So we'll come to tomorrow and, and we just got to be two better. So if we can have a great start again, I'm sure we can make something happen. The team did pick you up a lot of spots when you came out fourth on the last stop. But you mentioned the start of that race. You went big. Did you have that? in the plans or did it just open up for you yeah it's a little bit of calculated risk tonight you know this this thing has been very temperamental as far as the track and you're just trying to guess you know how much you can get away with and i yeah i went for it and you know my car was really good that makes such a big difference when you have a great race car it gave me some confidence to to you know put it where i wanted to but you know like i said we just ran out of time and that real estate went away quick so you know we tried to do what we could today but I, the stem of car team chevy it's a one two three for team chevy not a bad night. You know, I'm normally pretty disappointed with anything other than first, but, but a decent job. I mean, the, the team did amazing. They made up all of this tonight, so I'm really, really thankful to the two crew. Well done. Joseph Newgarden finishes third and starts 14th tomorrow, Georgia. Scott Dixon started fifth. He finished fourth, gained a position, also chopped away at the championship a little bit. But do you feel like you had more in the nine car? Yeah, definitely. The car was very good early on. Um, you know, uh, the first stint was pretty decent. I uh, heard it was kind of backing everybody up a little bit. I think he had maybe a vibration or something going on. We had a lot of problems. Uh, hybrid wasn't working again. We couldn't deploy. Uh, then we had to try and recharge it. There was some malfunction that kept going on there. And then uh, the last stop, I couldn't get first gear. For whatever reason, I was just sitting there trying to get first gear. We, for, for whatever reason, had a bit of a lockout. 
so we lost the spot there to, to Pato. And then uh, last turn, I was just so loose. I don't know what happened. The car was really good on restarts previous to that. And, you know, I uh, tried to drive it in as deep as possible without spinning, and uh, Joseph got us there. So, you know, kudos to them, and bummer we missed out on the podium. But, yeah, it was definitely a, a messy day for us, so I guess a fourth isn't too bad. And, uh, you know, huge uh, thanks to, obviously, Honda and, and uh, you know, everybody on the PNC Bank number nine. The beauty of this weekend is that you get to do it all again tomorrow. <laughs> do you feel like you have learned some crucial information today to bring into tomorrow? Yeah, I think as a team we learned a lot. You know, uh, it's definitely some things we've got to clean up, um, see if we can get some of the bugs out of uh, our issues that we've had, especially during, um, you know, the race with the hybrid so far. So, you know, tomorrow if we can have a clean day, I think we can have a successful one. Scott Dixon finishes fourth. Thanks, Scott. Dylan. Renus VK finishes in the fifth spot best run of the season and we were just talking a good car you always want that but sometimes that isn't enough and in a race like this you kind of needed some more help and, and it sounds like you kind of got it tonight so how would you evaluate the run you guys had yeah I mean we had a great run but uh, we didn't do anything special we just stayed in there and capitalized when we could uh, we had some great restart to uh, restarts and uh, pit stops were awesome you know really uh, made up a bunch of spots there so uh, I mean, you got to have a comfortable car. We had a comfortable car and kind of managing tire wear and, uh, and everything, but uh, no, great job at it, guys. This is our first top five since Mid-Ohio 2022, so uh, way deserved and, uh, well, now uh, getting ready for tomorrow. Yeah, you get to do it again tomorrow. So speak on that a little bit more. And, and even recently, the last couple months have been tough for you guys on this this 21 car. So what kind of rejuvenation is, is a, a really solid just run overall like this? Yeah, I mean it's it's great for the confidence, not just for me, but the whole crew. We've we've had a roller coaster 500, and uh, we've had a bunch of mechanicals afterwards. So to come back like this and uh, you know just get the morale up is is great, especially heading towards the Olympic break is what I call it. Uh, I think it's uh, it's really what we need, and um, I mean for my confidence is great too. Good run for Renus VK. Get to do it again tomorrow. He starts 15th, Georgia. Someone who also had a good run, Santino Ferrucci, his seventh top 10 of the season and a huge rebound. You just told me you were wheeling it. What else were you doing in that cockpit? Man, it's been a day of emotions, let's be honest. The highs, the highs in qualifying to mistake to starting to have to start 20th. Great restarts, great starts. Obviously, I guess I got out of line. I think there's a delay issue between when the leader is going and the light boards were turning on. So, obviously, drive through, try to pit the first time, missed it because my foot hit the floor, so I didn't want to just go straight through the track, so and then they gave me a stop and go for that, so kind of like insult to injury, and then I was in my head a little bit, not going to lie, uh, Larry just came on the radio, basically being a team owner, telling me to shut up and drive, and um, that's exactly what I did, and we got our Sexton Property Chevrolet up into the top six. Uh, Really wanted that top five at the end there, but VK just kind of ran us high, and it wasn't worth throwing away what I turned, you know, turned back into a great day for us. Well, he definitely has the speed, and we'll see what he does tomorrow. Hi, folks. Lee Diffie from NBC Sports here. If you truly enjoyed what you just watched, you can get more news, interviews, and highlights by subscribing to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube page. You can get it all, so go for it.